Right now, we're waiting for a verdict in the Daniel Perry murder trial. 12 jurors are deciding the fate of the Army sergeant who shot and killed a Black Lives Matter demonstrator while driving downtown during a 2020 protest. The man killed Garrett Foster was armed. And KXN's Jayla Washington brings us the closing arguments they heard this morning. No matter what the jury decides, an undeniable fact is this. Garrett Foster, a soon to be husband, son and friend, lost his life. He took care of all my needs, like he helped me get dressed in the morning. He helped me take a bath. On a day where perhaps jurors start to feel the true burden of holding another man's fate in their hands, on both sides, attorneys make their final case. He slams on his brakes. There's nobody on the right passenger side. Nobody's touching his car. Nobody's in the front. He could have continued to drive. So close your eyes and picture that. And as you're picturing that, picture this. The defense is very demonstrative and it's closing as it's been throughout the trial. While the state relies on some of its strongest evidence, Perry social media posts talking about anti-protest, pro-police feelings and private messages between Daniel Perry and a friend talking about a similar situation where a driver shot a protester six weeks prior to Perry killing Foster. These conversations with Michael Holcomb are starting to look like a playbook for what you would do if you wanted to use force. I will repeatedly say, not I would be in fear for my life, this is terrifying. I'm going to say I'm in fear for my life. All of that is in Daniel Perry's head when he drove into this crowd. The defense tells jurors it wasn't possible for Perry to drive off fast enough, arguing he had three choices, to drive off and be shot, sit inside of the car and wait to see what happens, or to defend himself. And that's exactly what he did. These are the people with the burden of proof, ladies and gentlemen. The state didn't bring you any science. There's not one of us who, if we were in that same position, if we're honest with ourselves, we wouldn't just sit and pray. While each side works to persuade whether Daniel Perry is guilty of murder, all attorneys recognize the sadness and weight of this case. It is okay to feel sorry for Garrett Foster. He was a human being, he loved, he was loved, and he died, and it is perfectly okay to feel sorry for Garrett Foster. But Garrett Foster made a choice that night. He came ready for a war, not a protest. Even in Texas, this isn't a good shoot, and we're going to ask you to consider that as you deliberate. He was my husband. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And Perry faces one count of murder and one count of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon.